The completion and launch of the Nexu 2 rocket is approaching fast. On Sunday the 23rd we took a big step towards this by performing a cold soak test on the almost completed rocket. The cold soak test is performed to validate the performance of valves and joints when exposed to cryogenic temperatures. For this purpose the liquid oxygen tank is filled with liquid nitrogen, a much cheaper and also safer alternative for this test. When the system is cooled down and has been pressurized, all joints and valves are inspected for leaks. All valves and sensors are function tested as well. In short, the cold soak test went well. A few minor and easily fixed leaks were found. The rocket was subjected to cryogenic conditions for more than three hours this past Sunday, with no real problems being revealed. During last year's launch campaign, we had issues with the liquid oxygen tank ventilation valve, which froze, stuck in an almost closed position. To avoid this happening again, several changes have been implemented. Most importantly, the valve has been substituted with a model specified for cryogenic use. Although almost three times as expensive as the original valve, Thinking back on last year's locked loading issues, we find this expense is justified. <laughs> to simulate launch conditions with a cryogenic engine system, the main fuel valve is commanded open, letting the alcohol in the pressurized fuel tank escape through the BPM-5 engine. To avoid contaminating the test area with the alcohol, a large plastic bag is held in place around the engine nozzle prior to evacuating the fuel tank. To complete the simulation of launch with a cryogenic engine system, the oxygen tank contents are evacuated through the engine by opening the main oxygen valve. As the liquid oxygen has been substituted with liquid nitrogen, there's no fire hazard. With the cold soak test completed, we are a big step closer to launch, but not quite launch ready yet. 
A full system test on board Sputnik is expected to take place within a few weeks. This is called a harbour acceptance test, as the test will take place inside Copenhagen Harbour. A prerequisite for this test is our launch platform Sputnik, which is in Nexu Harbour at this time. To sail Sputnik from Bonholm to Copenhagen will require calm seas in the Baltic Sea for a two-day period. Copenhagen Suborbitals is the world's only manned amateur space program, crowdfunded and non-profit. In the future, one of us will fly to space on a home-built rocket. If you like the video, please go to www.copsarp.com and support our project. Your donation is our rocket fuel.